I've posted over 7,000 pieces of content, built an audience of over a million followers and converted that to over 20 million in sales because of this one framework that I followed to consistently make viral contents. So in this exact content strategy, I've generated multiple eight figures with this. The most common question you probably have is, okay, well, I have an offer and I know what it is that I want to sell, but I don't know what to post and how do I post it, right? So I'm going to give you this exact formula of making viral content. And the coolest part is this content already exists online. It's already made. We just have to find it and make it our own by doing a simple framework called the model and modify, otherwise called an M&M. &M. So first off, I'm going to give you the spreadsheet. I'm going to teach you how to use it. And then actually stay with me to the end. I'm actually just going to give this to you as a gift. Okay. So you'll see here that in the script, we're going to find 10 Instagram accounts. And then within these Instagram accounts, we're going to find the top 10 posts. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay. So first off, you need to understand that when making viral content, you want to already find content that exists that's viral currently, because they've already made, there's creators out there that have already done all the heavy lifting and you simply, you don't copy, you never copy people's content, but you take inspiration and you model after what's already working. And so what I like to say, m and &M stands for model and modify. Remember, you are not copying. If you copy, you get in trouble right? You piss off other creators, creators message you, Hey, you copied my content. Not cool. Right? You don't want to do that, but you want to take inspiration from them and you want to model. So for example, you can change the music. You can change the hook, right? The first three seconds of the video, obviously for them, if it's a personal brand, they're going to use their own hook. You want to use your own hook, right? And then of course, at the very end, you want to tell your own personal story. This is the most important part. You need to tell your story, not their story. So for example, if you are a dad and you find a, um, a viral uh, reel, for example, of a mom, obviously you're not going to talk about being a mom. You're going to change it to your story as a dad, but you want to keep it in the framework, step-by-step, -step, very simple and close to what exactly it is that they're doing. So I'll give you a very simple example of something that worked very well, live in action of what this looked like. So this post popped up onto my explore feed. And by the way, when you scroll on explore, okay, the explore tab on Instagram, it's going to share with you a lot of really viral stuff. And this is, by the way, a really simple way to find viral content. So I found this viral piece of content. You can see that it's got 44,000 likes on it. I was like, oh, wow, this is super viral. So let's take a look at what it is. You, you see how simple that is? It's literally just, hey, these are the emergency numbers saved. And so this is specifically within a Christian context, right? Talking about emergency numbers as in the Bible. And then it's just a viral music. It's a photo of her smiling. And then on the next page, it's literally viral, right? So the cool thing about this is when I saw this piece of content, I went, okay, that's cool. How can I model after this piece of content and make it my very own? And so I want to share with you the exact version that I posted when I saw this. Let's play this. You see how simple that is? All I did was I used the same copy emergency numbers you need saved. And if you go back to the previous post on her side, emergency numbers you need saved. So I changed it slightly different in terms of the copy, the color, right? The fonts. And then I changed a different emoji at the end, but I used my own photo. So remember what I said, model and modify. If you notice, I also used a different song. So that's really, really important. I used a different song. And then of course I used my own photo. And the coolest thing about this, and this is where you have to really get creative is I used to work on an ambulance as an EMT, an emergency medical uh, technician. That's the first person when you call 911, I show up on scene. It was a crazy job. I learned a lot on that job. But as you can see here, because it's an emergency number, I thought to myself, oh man, I have a photo on my phone from a couple years ago when I used to work on an ambulance. Let me use that here. So you see how it takes a little bit of creativity, but the simplest thing is I didn't have to do any of the heavy lifting myself because it was because I saw something on the feed that was made by someone else and they did the heavy lifting. And remember, I didn't copy them. I did not copy them. I simply modeled after them. And just to show you the data, this one reel got 324,000 likes, which is obviously pretty crazy. That's super, super viral. But to show you the metrics of what happened, and if I could just zoom in here, this post reached over 1.7 million people, okay? And it gained me 2,000 followers. That's insane, okay? For a lot of people, and I even know people who run advertising to grow their account, people generally have to pay three to $5 per every single follower. So let's just be conservative and say, if it costs $3 to gain one follower, to gain 2,000 followers, 2,000 times three, I would have had to spend $6,000 in advertising to get the audience. This is insane. $6,000 in advertising that I literally got for free because I made one piece of content that was 11 seconds long, 
literally a photo and then another photo with music and the proper virality because it was proven. So do you see how simple this is? The key here in this lesson I'm trying to share with you is it's not difficult making viral content. As creators, we commonly make it more difficult for ourselves because we try to be innovative and make stuff up on our own. When the reality is we should have just found stuff that's already working online and focused on that in order to make it more and more and more viral based off of viral content that's already existing. So here's the framework. Remember the spreadsheet that I gave you and there's these 10 Instagram accounts. What we want to do is we want to first off go find one account that I already know is having success. Okay. And we want to shoot for accounts that have a similar customer avatar to who I'm trying to attract. So for example, if you are a mom and you're selling a digital marketing product, you should follow other moms that are also selling digital marketing products successfully. And when I say successfully, you want to know a lot of people in the digital marketing space, they share their numbers, right? Hey, I've done 5k a month. I've done six figures this year. I've done a million dollars. So you obviously want to model after people who are doing it successfully. They're doing it well. And then what you do is you model after the content. And here's a really cool thing. When you go and you hit the follow button on an account. So for example, if you follow me and you go to my profile and then you just tap the follow button, it's going to have a drop down and it's going to give you like recommended, like, Hey, here's, um, five other accounts that might be uh, similar and they're called suggested accounts. So as soon as you follow account, there should be a drop down section and then just go and click on those and find more accounts, but you want to find 10 top accounts. Okay. By top, I just mean accounts that are selling customer avatar and you know, they're doing well in your industry. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the reels tab and you want to see the number of views per post. Okay. So for example, if you go to mine and you click on the reels tab, you'll see on average how many views each reel is getting. And right now our engagement's not as good, but then you can see like right here, like, bam, this one's got 200, almost 300 K. That one's obviously way better than something that's only got 30,000, right? Like literally 10 times more reach. So you see, like you can see the performance of content simply go by going to the reels tab and just looking at what's got the most views. And what I like to do for modeling after content is find things that at least have a three to one ratio. So what that means is if you come across an Instagram account that has 10,000 followers on Instagram, you want to only choose, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to only choose reels that have at least 30,000 views. Does that make sense? Right? If you find an account that has a hundred thousand followers, then you want to choose reels that only have 300,000 views or above. And the reason why we want to do this is because that's what I consider to be viral. If you have a post that has significantly more views than they do followers, and that means by definition that the, that reel is reaching more people outside of that person's audience, hence making the account go viral. Okay. And if you do this with 10 Instagram accounts and within each account, you filter down and do the most 10 viral posts. And literally to do that, you just have to go here and you just got to spend, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes going through and literally just looking like, okay, that's got a hundred thousand, that's got 18,000, not good. hundred thousand, that's pretty good. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just literally scrolling through and this is just my profile, but you want to do this with other people's profiles. Okay. So you can do this with mine, but I would feel free to go and find 10 full accounts, write down the accounts here. You can go ahead and you link the profile. So you can drop the Instagram account there. And then you want to drop the 10 links. Well, link one here, link two, you literally just go to Instagram, you copy the link, right? And then you paste it there. And when you do that, what's able to happen, okay, is you're going to be able to find the most viral pieces of the content. And if you really think about how elegant this is, if you do this 10 posts and 10 accounts, that's a hundred posts. That's literally your first 100 posts. And even if you post three times a day, which is pretty high volume, if you post three times a day, that's your first 33 days of posting content, literally all done for you. You see how simple that is? You literally have ideas of what content to make for 33 days. If you post three times a day, if you only post once a day, that's your first three months, hundred days worth of content, right? That's over 90 days, which is three months. And so when you find this now, okay, that's the research phase. And that's why I call this the viral research script framework, the spreadsheet, because this is how you find stuff that's already viral. By the way, if you want this spreadsheet, the viral research script and the Google doc associated, just go to my Instagram, drop me a follow, and then just message me one word, the word doc, D-O-C, and I'll send it to you. Once you complete this viral research script framework of having these first hundred posts, now you want to take the hook of the post, okay? Which is going to be the first three seconds and you want to make it your own, okay? So for example, the first three is going to be the cover of the reel. So that's like the photo or the thumbnail of the reel. You want to make the obviously your own. And then also the copy, the music, the video, whatever it is, you want to model as closely as possible to the reel that you're modeling after, but you want to make it as close to the original as possible, but make it in your own story. So if the camera was set up in a certain way, you want to set up the camera like that. If it was a photo taken in a certain way, you want to have a photo similar as that. You want to have the, the creative be as similar as possible, 
But obviously the most important is it has to be you. You have to be the face of it, okay? You gotta be the personal brand. And then for the rest of the video, okay? Because the hook, that the first three seconds, the part that you really wanna to stick to a script, the rest of the video, you can add your own twist. So if it's a talking head video, so you're talking about something, you can talk about it within your own framework. You can introduce elements of your own personal brand. You wanna talk about your own story. <clears throat> but the most important thing here is you need to make the hook nearly identical. But when I say identical, don't, don't think, oh, because you're just saying just copy the whole thing. No, no, I'm saying identical, but use you. Use your personal brand and tell your story in it, right? So the easiest example is you remember from the post that I shared with you, obviously it was a photo of a girl, okay? I'm not gonna use her face on my, because then I, that would be breaking the rules. I'm copying her content. I used me, okay? I used my content, right? I can't find it anymore. Let me hit my back arrow, okay? Here we go. You saw that it was me, but I modeled as closely as possible with the text on the screen. So that's how you do it. You wanna keep it as simple as possible that way, okay? And I'll give you a pro tip. The best way to get really good at content ideas is not just following pages that are in your exact industry. So for example, if you're selling a digital marketing product or you're selling a fitness product, you only follow other fitness influencers. It's following people that have similar values to what you have as a person. So for example, maybe you're selling a digital marketing product and you're a mom, okay? Rather than following all 10 accounts, because remember it's 10 accounts that you wanna do this 10 by 10 exercise with, rather than following 10 accounts, maybe four accounts or five of those accounts can be moms, so that part's a similar, but maybe it's a mom that sells a fitness offer. Maybe it's a mom that has a marriage offer. Because what happens is when you follow people that are similar to you, that look like you, but are in other industries and other niches, what happens is you can get really innovative ideas that never happen. So for example, I'm in the digital marketing space, right? I sell products in the business consulting space, but this person is not a business person at all. She does not have a business uh, offer. She has a completely, completely separate niche if you look at her content, right? None of it has business related. And so if, for example, you I just gave you a, a really simple example, right? If I'm Christian, I follow other Christian pages. And the reason why I follow other Christian influencers is because I get ideas from a faith standpoint that would I would never find if I only followed business people, right? If you are a fitness influencer, follow other business people because maybe you're not gonna make business content but there's a business influencer that makes something on mindset, on self-development, and you go, oh my gosh, that's really good. I wanna use that and add that to my fitness content, uh, my, my viral research script. You see how simple that is? Simple that is? So you go through other niches and you can also take content from that, right? And you can model after those even though they have nothing to do with your niche, right? I'll give you an example if you're a nurse. If you're a nurse, okay, you can follow other women who are promoting digital products, but I also know there's a lot of really well-known nurses and medical, medical field workers that literally just have their own social media just for the sake of having their own social media and they don't sell business offers. So go follow them because they have products, excuse me, they have content that is viral. That's just nursing content. And that's what you should because you probably want to help other nurses as well, right? And then finally here, you can do this exercise with secondary platforms as well. So don't just think, oh, am I limited to only doing this on Instagram? Absolutely not. You can find something super viral on TikTok and you can do the 10 by 10 exercise on TikTok. You can go to YouTube Shorts and you can find 10 by 10 and do it with YouTube Shorts. I recommend you start with Instagram because obviously that's plat that's content that's native to the platform. But after you, you do this on Instagram, feel free to branch out to other platforms as well. And that's gonna give you even more content to go through. Now you know how to consistently create viral content, but how do you actually tell your story? Check out this video right here. I'm gonna teach you there exactly how to build a genuine, authentic relationship with your audience. I'll see you there.